Welcome back, YouTube. This is Two Point Joe coming back with more Idle Heroes content. Today, first things first, I've got so much of this gold that I really don't know what to do with it. And I started kind of just making gear, and then I realized I have made so much that I can, you know, do Grey Dwarf's Blessing, um, which... I didn't really expect to this month, however, you know, I was just kind of going through, kind of upgrading stones on my guys, making gear, spending all my guild tech, stuff of that nature, and I figured, you know, I might as well bring you guys along for the ride, because some of you are in the same position that I'm in, your server's so old, that you have so much gold that you really don't know what to do with it. Sure, you could pump it into Celestial Island. But how good is that going to do? Outside of the stones, it won't really benefit you that much. So you got all these heroes. What is some way that you can do? Well, let's do it. Let's walk through it. So first things first, obviously you're going to want to pick, you know, whatever hero it is. And normally you can just kind of see the meta from the last two to three heroes. Obviously, there's, you know, different ones, and Sherlock comes out tonight, today, whatever, in the Relic Store, so so many people are going to build him. If you're going to build him, awesome. What can counter him? Outside of that, um, you know, it's kind of like PvE versus PvP. What are you focusing on? There's so many, so many different things that you can do, um, and, you know... I don't know, I like to go through the newest heroes, kind of read about them, as well as some of the older ones, because it's like, right now, Olivia was not popular at all, but I'm starting to see more and more people are getting her. Um, obviously, Garuda's phenomenal, but still, Olivia's one of those interesting ones where whenever she came out, it was like, she's not really that good, but now she's not bad, and pretty... Pretty situational guys have been popping up. I mean, you know, Drake doesn't sound like a fantastic PvP person, but I see him everywhere. Obviously, he was pretty easy to get, um, you know, but still. I'm more excited for Russell, stuff of that nature. Um, but still, I'm just ready for carry to get out of the meta. You know, triple carry, quadruple carry, stuff of that nature. I just like to see variety, um, which is, you know, I feel like we're kind of going to that direction where a lot more things can happen. Um, you know, again, all those heroes that we just went through, I guess we forgot this faction. Um, Ithic was definitely PvE, although I've seen very few in PvP that don't really do phenomenal, but she is a pretty good nuke, so there's that. Um, you know, and then you got Gustin, I guess. But still, there's so many different builds you can try, and, yo, his, his narration is so long. If you guys didn't hear that, um, go log into your game, turn it on, and just, just listen to that. But anyways, um, you know, I kind of look at what faction they are and who I want, who I need. Um, I only have one ranger set. I have, like, an extra mage set lying around, so I don't really need that. Assassins aren't super, super popular, although there is a new assassin coming out tonight. So, make sure, you know, if that's what you want, if you're going to build the newest hero, it never hurts to pick up an extra set. Outside of that, you know, Sherlock's coming out tonight as well. So, you kind of have to think just for a second. And I know you might be wondering, well, why did you pick Ranger? And the thing is, I don't have enough. I've got most Warrior and then Mage. Ranger just kind of fits the best. Priest, it's nice to have like one set, which I do. Um, and then, you know, Assassin, really, it's 50-50. Like, are you going to run more than two Assassins ever? I don't know. Um, but again, just kind of stepping through. I finished everything, and this is kind of where I'm stuck at right now. 264. We might as well do one more roll. Sadly, I couldn't get that. Um, and I only spent the $20, $20 pack, so it's not too bad. But I got this chest, and that's really all that I was hoping for. I wouldn't mind the 9-star, but, you know, honestly, I don't really want to drop another 
30 40 bucks. Sure, it's not too bad, but it doesn't really sound worth it to me. Um, but still, I don't know, just completing as much as you can really allows you to build a lot more heroes and progress and this and that. So, I mean, for next time, if you want to drop 20 bucks, you can get roughly that. Um, I mean, you can even do better, but I just wasn't having the best luck. Still, the game is changing pretty drastically. Um, and, you know, these are just ways that I kind of tackle it. Um, I don't know. I just figured since a new hero is coming out tonight, before you guys make any big decisions, you should look at your team. You should look at, you know, the resources that you have because just by looking at your bag, you might be able to make an extra 10 star. You might be able to bump someone up to E5. It really depends on where you're at. Um, but also little fun fact they removed the 15 round battle we'll get into all this tonight um however the game is i feel like it's slowly creeping out of the meta that it's in so all i'm really saying is don't get too comfy and take a second to think about everything that you can do you can spend so much you know of the resources that you have to better your team so really that's it um if you guys enjoy i know that this is just a little bit different of a video basically we didn't really do much but i did a whole lot and i kind of hope that you guys take a second and look at these heroes the way that i do um because i'm hopefully going to change my team around in the next two days so make sure to stay with me for that and i want to thank each and every one of you for being along for the ride my name is two point show and I hope you all have a great day.